Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, yeah. Are you getting paid for this? I know that you can't resist music from the water bill. So we're back again with another video. I just want to remind you before the video starts, yeah. I would really appreciate it if you just press the little subscribe button. I really love that. That would be so nice of you. Mm? You don't want to subscribe. Mm? We're on the road to 1K, y'all. We're on the road to 1K. You don't just be watching and not just, you don't want to subscribe. Subscribe, please, okay? Help the community. And for those who are reoccurring, hi there, baby. How are you today? Cheers. So, as you can see in today's topic, we are talking about something a little bit, a little bit serious. I think that it's important as a society, as a generation, as people, that we actually talk about these things. But let me get into it. I've had a big shift in my own mindset and how I view myself as a woman. And so, topic of feminism and femininity and womanhood is something that I really like to dive into because... I felt like for a very long time I had a false perception of what I thought was womanhood and femininity and as I'm getting older and as I'm experiencing different things and also getting more into my faith I'm starting to understand that what I knew was a little bit skewed. I want to go in heavy with the industry because I want to really touch on our role models in society. I want to touch on who is it that we look at and we're like oh my gosh that is a woman right that is somebody who is promoting freedom and liberation feminine essence and stuff like that this idea has been linked so much with sexuality now i want you guys to think about something feminism femininity is not just sexuality it's not just sensuality it's not just being a sexy person and letting your assets loose and shaking your ass and whilst those things can feel very liberating can feel very good when you're in your room and you're busting it and you're, you're, you know what i'm saying having a good time dancing or whatever but when we are now teaching the world and teaching young girls as well that to be a woman yeah to be uh, a, a woman yeah it is through sexuality is through sexual liberation i'm actually frustrated whenever i see this image of women being portrayed when we are so much more than our bodies so much more than our bodies so much more than what our bodies can do for the pleasure of men which is a current occurring theme i'm always hearing in that like, these female rapper songs talking about how well they do this how well they do this how they're is fire you understand and how that is supposed to be the attractive thing about them women are using their sexuality their looks you understand in order to bring men closer to them to show that this is what sexuality is but this is coming from the, the vision of of what men like to see for arousal now wait <laughs> wait let me get into this let me get into this let me get into this because it's very deep and i've been touching on the industry a little bit on my on my tiktok and this is something that i really want to go into depth with because we are so hooked on social media now growing up for me was not there was not social media like this growing up for me i was not you know watching so many celebrities you see the people that sit on tv and you're like wow 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 but you don't immerse yourself into their life so much because we're busy outside playing now the whole world is revolving around technology social media we're in the influencer era and now we have to think about what is it that we're being influenced to do what are these influences actually trying to do and i want you guys to remember something that the music industry owns the place where you watch music <laughs> owns the tv shows owns these these tv stations they are the ones that run these things they're in close cahoots with um with the entertainment side of things right and so they have a lot of power in what is being influenced do you understand there's a reason why they're not influencing women to read books and be smart and educated 
there's a reason why the women that are singing about these things that are promoting these things are not the ones that you're seeing every single time you open your page you're always seeing the ones that are overly sexualized doing the most do you understand because that is the narrative that they're trying to portray i want you guys to really really think about this brainwashing techniques of the world right and i use the word brainwashing and y'all might be like what is this girl talking about but i'll get into it in another video on how much technology can be our enemy and our friend at the same time you must understand that there are people that are in control of a certain system once you get that and you understand that you will be a lot more conscious about the things that you put into your head right now we're living in a world whereby money is everything mm? money equals good looks money equals surgical enhancements money equals being able to show people on the internet that you're living a certain lifestyle money equals a false sense of comfort i recently did a, a bible plan talking about money and talking about how you must understand what money is before you go and chase it how money is also a master that you can serve and this was one thing that the topic was was really like highlighting to me that you cannot serve two masters at once you can't serve god and you can't serve money now i've noticed that you know with the rise of things like only fans the rise of all these platforms whereby you exploit your own sexuality in order for money right and it's a lot of money but that that also concerns me how many people invest in these sites how many people pay monthly subscriptions to engage in this culture i'm trying to be very careful about the words that i use because this is not in any way to try to offend anybody or try to um 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 um, um you know belittle any women I even understand a lot of people they acknowledge that what the work that they're doing is sex work but the, ma the matter of the problem is that we're glorifying this thing and saying that everybody should do it you understand it's easy we have a rise of normalizing sex work right normalizing women exposing themselves for money we've normalized this rise this crazy scary scary rise of the bbl movement if y'all know what i'm saying eh whereby we as people we are saying that okay cool guys if you don't like your body, do you understand? And you want to change something about your body, you want to change something about your face, you want to change something about how you look or whatever, all good and well for you. But I beg you in the name of Jesus, try to work out first. <laughs> Go to the gym, eat healthy, eat clean. There's so many medical complications that come with these things. People spend millions of dollars on surgical enhancements, be it whether it's for themselves or for other people. We saw a rise... You understand? I want you to guys to think about how things happen in society. Do you understand? Why things happen and what that there's a reason as to how something gets to a point. There's a reason why people were not doing BBLs for so long. Why is that? The overconsumption of people's lives is what has led us to this point where we're at right now. Whereby women feel as if if I just shake a little bit of on the internet, if I just blow up, get a BBL, do you understand, post all about it, you know, show people my body to gain attention, right, from specific types of people. We didn't have this overconsumption of people's lives. I'd say a good 12, 15 years ago. How old am I now? Yeah, about 15 years ago, I feel like things were chilling. People were playing outside, catching a breeze. But I think now with the increase of social media and the internet, and technology taken over our lives you understand we've shown people that there are multiple ways in order for you to be more successful and what we now see as success is something else now the over sexualization of women i think is, is a movement that is trying to cheapen who we are as women now if i want to talk about slavery real quick yeah let me just jump hop skip in there there's a reason why black people were caught as slaves do you understand the fear of their power is crazy. If you go deep diving into history, Jonas, and you'll understand that black people were extremely intelligent, extremely spiritual, extremely, well, I mean, still, you know what I'm saying, extremely spiritual, ext extremely highly intelligent, physically, physically strong beings. Do you understand? And the white folk knew this. 
you get me? They understood the power within them. And there's a whole lot of other history, you understand? They cut off their, their channel before they even could express, you understand? If you tell women that they are just body looks finish, do you understand? They will never reach that point where I feel like a lot of women are reaching. That divine femininity, that divine power that comes with being a highly educated, strong woman. You don't have to give up something within yourself in order for you to have that thing provided for you. Then you should start thinking, is it truly worth it? I have to dumb myself down into being nothing but a body. If I have to do all of those things in order for me to be in a decent financial standing, is it truly worth it? If I say, I know I don't feel comfortable wearing some certain clothing, or I don't feel comfortable interacting sexually with somebody on the first date or the second date, or I don't feel like, but this person says that they're going to basically sort out my life for me and then they're going to provide for me, but I have to have sex with them today in order to do that, is it worth it? The more that we ask this question to ourselves, how worth it is it? You understand? You'll start making different decisions in your life. And they might just end up being very lonely decisions, yeah? But I'll tell you something. The dignity you feel in yourself and the strength and power you feel in yourself when you are feeding other things is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Growing up, yo, I used to feel as if my power was within my sexuality. I used to feel prideful in that, do you understand? Until I realized that that's nothing to be proud of. What I said... Um, I'm locking up shop. I will not open access to anybody for anything. Guys message me and they genuinely say to me, Hey, what's up? You're beautiful. I like your vibe. I book you a flight to come to me wherever I am. And we can hang out and chill and whatever. Wow, that's crazy. By the way, they never fail to mention that they'll spoil you, right? Because that is the thing that is hooking women these days. I'll spoil you. I'll take care of you. That's all that matters. I'm always like, I don't know you. Sorry. You're asking me to come and get on a flight to come to you. Stay where you're staying, meaning sleep in the same bed as you, right? Someone who you don't know. Is that not just modern day prostitution? Prostitution with extra steps. Some guy asked me the other time to get on a flight and come meet him in Kenya. Me. Because you saw me and you think to yourself, I can easily get that girl by just telling her I'm going to spoil her. I'm going to do this for her because it works. The, the messed up thing is that it works. Do you understand? It actually works. Oh, this person wants to fly me out. I'm hopping, skipping, jumping. I'm getting on this flight and I'm going to go and spo get spoiled. Maybe he might give me this. Maybe he might give me that. All you have to give up is a little bit of... There's something that you lose within yourself when you decide to go and do these things. There's something that is taken away from you spiritually whenever you give yourself to a person in order for money. Do you understand? Because they're using money to entice you. No one will just say to you, come meet me down the road, do you understand? And you'll get your bags and go there and go and go meet that person. But they're enticing you with a free vacation, free luxury, probably will buy you clothes, do this. But it's not for free, is it? It's not for free if you're giving up something. Unless that person is telling you they want you to fly you out so that you can hang out and play, play Sudoku. Hang out, play Monopoly. You think... I want to put myself in danger with a strange man who I don't know. You just see me on social media and you're telling me that I would just pack up my stuff and go and get on a flight and meet you. Bear in mind, let me even add on something on top of that subject. This person asks me first and foremost, Oh, how old are you? You must be 17. You said, you, you said something like you must be 18 or 19, right? You look, you are so beautiful. You must be 18, 19. That's what he said. I said, I laughed my head off. I said, so many laughing emojis. And I said, wow. I said, first of all, how old are you? This guy tells me he's 29. I'm somebody that, I'm not shy. I'll message you and be like, you're crazy. That's actually, you saw me, thought I was 18, 19, as a 29 year old man. And your first instinct is to message me and ask me to go on a catch a flight to go and meet you. That's what you're doing. Messaging young girls to go and meet them. That's crazy. And I kept on, remember, I kept on asking, touching on the subject, why is he kept on ignoring that message? Kept on ignoring that message. He said, oh, I'm 25 years old, my friend. I'm not 18, 19, but that's crazy of you. I'm 25. I can't be with somebody that's 19 or 18. That's crazy. That is me.
guys really going out to groom someone and manipulate somebody? So why is it that men in this day and age feel so comfortable talking to young girls, 15, 14 year old girls, because they look, maybe they look a little bit more grown, going for them? Why? The devil is running rampant right now. Running rampant, especially with this thing of money. Running rampant with it. Flashing it in your face saying, look, you can easily get this thing. The instances that I've experienced, even just in this past couple of months, you understand, whereby I've learned how true it is, especially in the industry, that if you go and you sleep with somebody, you can get your career running to a certain point. You just go, open a little leg, you understand? We're seeing the situation with Diddy right now. Diddy groomed so many young boys, took a lot of young boys into his care, showed them a lot of things that they were not supposed to see at a young age because he knew what they wanted in the end was fame and success. Sex is not a currency. Let's stop using it. It's disgusting and, and high-key pedophilic nasty behaviour. The matter of the fact is these industries are pushing out this narrative to make more and more women believe that this is normal and this is okay when it's not. Look, if I'm in a position right now where somebody comes to me and they say to me, look, I can get your career running right now as a musician, as an artist, as a superstar. I can have you on the Grammys next week if you sleep with me. If you sleep with me and you sleep with my friend and you sleep with this person as well, we can give you every single thing you want. This is what's happening. Bear in mind. This is not a, this is not a scenario. This is what's happening. Do you understand? If you do this, you'll get this. Guaranteed. And why is it guaranteed? Because they're in control of everything. Let's now run it back. Let's run back the wheel like this. Let's run back the wheel. As women, mm, you yourself, do you understand? When you look at what type of role model you want to be for your future children, nine times out of ten, I can I can look back at the things that I've experienced in my life, things that I've done, the things that I, I would not want my daughter to have to go through some of those things because of difficult situations, which is the nine times out of ten what people use against women in order to get them to show themselves in such a way. Influencing my daughter, my young cousins, my young sister, to say that I'm capable of doing everything on my own. I have the power. I'm a very powerful, spiritual human being. And I move with God. Do you understand? That that's the type of thing I want to showcase. That I did it on my own. That I didn't have to sleep with anybody in order to get anywhere. I didn't have to do something that I didn't want to do. I didn't feel comfortable doing in order to get somewhere. I worked damn hard. There is always the easy option. There's a reason why it's easy. Where it seems easy, right? It seems easy to just get on a little flight, go meet some random person. But nine times out of ten, a lot of people they don't come back home. Some people end up being killed. And it's okay, so why did you go there meeting a random person? Because they promised you ABC. Guys, the world is using our sexuality against us. I fear for this this sexual spirit that's running rampant through men the obsession with sex the obsession with women's bodies i think that we have a very big societal issue that if this is not like managed in the right type of way everything would just be pure chaos i i i see like this decline in just emotional mental awareness of of people these days i think that you know we're so focused on the wrong things because of this overconsumption of other people's lives and this is why like i think one of the the biggest things that made me lead like lean so much more into my relationship with god was because of the liberation it made me feel it's not about sexuality or sensuality it's about how much you educate yourself how much you fill yourself with so much knowledge. It's not necessarily about being modest and covering yourself up head to toe. Everybody's different, do you understand? I don't have to shake my ass to make somebody notice me. And if somebody only notices me because of that, then clearly they're noticing me for the wrong reasons. 
I've grown to understand the beauty and power of working on my spirituality and my mind and how that attracts certain specific people around me and it's like a repellent against all the people who are not meant for me all the people that don't have that don't see anything good for me you understand i think that this was like the shift for me where i made like a complete understanding of wait maybe i should think about having a bit more respect for myself and loving myself wholeheartedly and respecting myself and my body enough to not feel as if I have to show it to everybody in order to get a little bit of something. I feel like there's just so much degrading of women in the industry and society these days. And now the women are also degrading themselves and degrading other women. There's a big line between liberation and degradation. To be understanding this difference that there is. This is the only way that we can start changing our society and moving into something else. You know, one thing that I aspire to do and to be in society, in this world, through my channel, through everything that I, that, that I do, you know, on social media and just in real life in general, is to be somebody who encourages the girl child, encourages women to seek more than just using their physical, you know, their attributes, you understand, in order to gain a standing in this world making them know that you know what i'm saying like there's there's a lot more to life you understand and that success will come for you through all through all the right channels you don't have to give something of yourself up you don't have to degrade yourself in order to be in a certain position that's not what god wants for us god wants us to be patient and to be kind and loving and respect ourselves i realize how real the devil is and how he works through the media, how he works through music, how he works through, you know, our overconsumption of things. And that made me think there must definitely be another side of this. And that's completely changed my perspective on who I am as a woman. What I believe in as a woman. What I believe femininity is. And this doesn't mean that you must just, you know, be... I'm not telling you to be a certain type of person. But I've come to a position whereby, you know, I would only even show specific side of myself to the person that I would marry because I realized the value in that. I realized that this person who will be with me will love me for everything. The looks, the outside and all of those things and the sexual side of things is just a bonus on the side. But that person genuinely loves me for who I am, a spirit before this body. Do you understand? This is just... This is just machinery that i'm using for this time being <laughs> that i'm on this earth do you understand and and it's, it has its function and we're literally slicing ourselves open to look like the role models that we're being shown on television right having the perfect body the perfect skin the perfect this the perfect what perfect hair perfect you know eyelashes and makeup and da -da 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 just over consume instead of teaching people to just love themselves how they are but we're not going to do that these days are we that's not what that's not what entertainment is for right that's not what this whole system is for it's not to uplift people and make them feel good about themselves is it i went into a little bit of a rant with this one this topic is is just so deep to me because i see how deep the roots run in society these days every time i open my my social media every time i open you know tiktok and youtube and the videos that i see coming up and the music videos that are shared and you know the type of imagery that's being portrayed and nine times out of ten guys it's not art it's a hidden message look when i create you understand i create i think about the message that i'm portraying behind the creation you understand there's a deeper meaning to everything don't try and reason it like there's no meaning to something you understand there's a meaning to something there's something, there's a message you want to portray. There's a reason why I make these videos is to portray a certain message. There's a reason why I make the music that I make is to portray a certain message and to reach a certain group of people. I make high vibrational, uplifting music that talks about love and God's love and, and spirituality and, you know, opening your mind and being free and, and, you know, reading and being educated and all these things. That's what I sing about. That's what I write about. That's what I talk about. Mm, for a reason now why do you think people 
talk about other things it's for another reason isn't it <laughs> you know why we see you know this influx of of devil worshipping in the industry it's not for an aesthetic it's, it's for a reason but we'll get into that in another video y'all so yeah that was my my little rant today um i think that this is something that we should really really place a lot more importance on in society let's talk about this more let's see how we can start to slowly shift a certain mindset because i can only see this going downhill honestly i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe y'all subscribe subscribe if you like topics like this if you like these types of discussions let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this video um where your mind is at whether you agree whether you disagree you know uh let me know what you guys think about it so yeah thank you guys for watching hope you have an amazing day bye